This is a game from the Rybison Super League. I'm Martin Tyler and Alan Smith sitting next to me. Can't wait for this one. Our match here is St. Gallen against Grasshopper. Alan, give us the benefit of your insight on the home side. Well, there's no doubt they have got time to get their season back on track, but what we've seen so far from them, I'm, I'm not sure they can actually achieve that. Mid-table and not what they were wanting. Really anticipating something special from him here today. Scored three in the last three. Another one here will get down a tree. Well, this is how the home team shape up. Well, three at the back. That's the first thing that catches the eye. What about the rest of the team? Well, it looks to be a 3-4-3. Three, three. You certainly don't see it that often and when it works it can catch the opposition off guard really it can be a really awkward shape to contend with this is how the visitors will line up today i think that back four is really important for them they've got to be strong and solid but they've got a bit of protection haven't they they have they should have more than enough I mean, they're all good defenders in their own rights, but uh, in front of them, they've got players who are going to be working really hard. Whether they could be a threat on the front foot, we'll wait and see. It's the responsibility today, refereeing-wise, of Eufemio Lafranchi. First touch, and the ball is in play. Off we go. Caio. And he's got the ball away from him with the tackle. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. It's looking good, this move. Here comes the cross, and in comes the header. Headed it well, just wide. Well, not far wide at all. Next time, maybe he'll bury that. Well, good through ball. And he bangs it away. Into the attacking third. Nicely played through ball. The keeper can collect this one. looking for an opening with some good control builder tackle goes in and now the shot good block well, he's taken a touch there of the defender it will be a corner Good through pass. Here's the chance. And they've scored. They've taken the lead.
talk about composed to take it first time and just guide it into that bottom left absolutely wonderful well it's a goal worth replaying over and over again isn't it So the first goal, it's 1-0. Attacking well here. It'll be a throw. Good pass, getting it forward. Tackle goes in. Vanetta. Well, this attack got a bit of menace to it. It could be a chance. And the goalkeeper got across to it. And here's the shot. He's blocked the shot well. Alves dos Santos picked off that pass. And now he's got the ball and a chance to create something. Vis able to make a good interception it's safe to play it back to the goalkeeper he's good with his feet and it's going to be a throw here The spirit of the day really trying to keep the game flowing it could have got through there but the defender was absolutely on top of his game trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation chunk of added time here three minutes so it's one nil here as the halftime whistle goes well the player that we're featuring here has done well he's certainly been an influence on this first half well he played really well didn't he and he got himself a goal to put his team Start of the second half for you. Shot on! Oh, well done, the goalkeeper, and he's hung on to the ball. And the referee seeing that as a foul. It is a free kick. going well for the home players and their supporters uh, the away players finding it hard in the match and the fans now getting very frustrated they think that there is some jiggery pokery going on here well it's uh, predictable i suppose but maybe even the home fans are a little bit unhappy they want to see their team go for one or two more goals but that might be a bit of a reckless thing to do now 
Fikio Barnetta. The shot's on. Oh, charged down. Now that's a throw. Olsen. Well, it was easy on the eye, but in the end, pretty easy to defend against. Substitute coming up for the away team. Makes a challenge here. Kayo. Well, we're two thirds of the way through the 90 minutes, half an hour to go. It was good progress with this attack. Really strong tackle, and the ball's gone out for a throw. It's a tactical substitution for the losing team here. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. Tranquillo Barnetta. There's going to be a substitution. It's for the away team. That's a good idea. In with a chance. But well, he's had a go. Well, if you don't buy a ticket, as they say, and uh, fair play to him for having a crack. He's got the ball away from him with the tackle. He's coming forward with some danger. Promising build-up until that challenge. I see a substitute coming on for the away team here. And the attempt to thread the ball through. Going to try one now. Good work by the goalkeeper. Just over a quarter of an hour left on my watch. Attacking well here. Got the tackle in. And that is now a goal kick. Well, there's still time to hit back in this game, and they're going to try and do it with a substitute. Well, we're in the last knockings of the game, but we're still on the edge of our seats here. It's that close. Confident and quality on the ball. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. Well, an important corner now. Let's see what they can do. Well, this is fascinating, and the crowd are loving the, the drama that we're watching here. Just a one goal in it in favour of the home team. Yeah, careful that they don't start celebrating too quickly and that the players feel they've won the game before they actually have. It's decent defending, not perhaps the best cross. The referee's had a good look and decided from what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes.
still trying to get forward here, still trying to get the goal that can help them to some... Well, it was a foul, and he's given the free kick. Score here, one nil. Well, they played very well when they had the ball, which wasn't that often. Um, but they played even better when they didn't have the ball to stop the opposition. Yeah, that's right. It's not when bump, but they did have it. They used it extremely well and clinical in the end. Well, he's had a very good game, hasn't he? He was always the man to watch for the opposition, but they couldn't keep tabs on him at the vital moment.